There's power. Yes. Clicky, clicky. 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 Oh, it is on now. Yes, I heard. Whoa, hi. I heard crackly wackles. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. What is this? What is this? Oh, I can't get into here. Oh, there's stairs, but they're blocked off. So scary. Like, how did they think that these kind of environments... <laughs> I don't like him. Nobody says we can't. Let's find Charlotte. Alright. I don't know where you want to look. There's so many places. Uh, yeah, we've been in here. Okay. That's the entrance. So I'm gonna go up, I guess. Can't use the elevator. Oh, I can use the elevator. It's okay. I think I woo. Should we take the elevator? It might be creepy, actually. Oh. I'm an angel, she says, as she brushes some hair over her horns. Yes? Satan? Let's go! Let's search the wards on the upper floor. There's a plan on the wall which shows their location. Why are you suddenly 5,000 times louder, woman? What the hell? <sighs> Does not work because the door is open. Oh. How do I... How do I close the doors? T? Well, how do you want to close the fucking fucking doors? Oh. One. The door isn't open! What the hell? Door. Door. Oh. Close. Uh. No, I don't like it. The elevator. <laughs> Hell in an elevator. Getting possessed while going down. Oh, I can turn these on now. What the fuck is that? The doll, Charlotte. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Oh. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and that surprised me. I didn't understand. At first, I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. Right. I lived in constant fear that mom would abandon her. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. Add it to the synopsy menu. It's cold and it's dark. Look, she's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. Nobody can stop us. Charlotte is a good girl. Um. Chapter two. At least we don't have to do that again. Okay. Oh no, we we're going to walk around with this freak the entire time. Are you kidding me? All right. Can't see anything with her. Oh. I really want some old medical books. They're so cool. A little gross, but cool. Oh, look at this guy. He's like, why are you doing this to me? Oh. Why is there static in the back? Oh. 
Is that to remove tumors? Well, this is to uh, fix a cleft pellet. But I don't know what this... Oh, it's also cleft pellet. Yeah, because it usually goes into the roof of the mouth. Because people think it's just split lip, but it's actually the the soft palette that's like not connecting. Oh well. What? Can I take a screenshot? I can. Oh, this is a good one. Keys. Can I take the keys? Can we take the the keys? Charlotte, piss off! I want to take the keys. Okay, fine. Let's open the windows. Nice. It's blue outside. Um, any medical stuff? Some morphine I can take? No. Alright. So what do we do with you? Oh. Otomente. Surgery B. Oh. Oh, this is even spookier. Spooky Charlotte. She's going to turn against us. Alright, so we can't go into surgery. Oh. Huh? Surgery C. Oh, that's B. Okay. So where do we want to go with her? The elevator lifts. Uh, the elevator lift. The elevator light is on. Oh, oh. What, 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 what? Nanny, what? 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 Here? Those lamps oh, Jesus. make the room warmer. Oh. But Charlotte's not happy. She doesn't feel well. Charlotte is a piece of shit. Um. Why is she suddenly so loud? I might have to turn. It. Oh, this is a. Oh, no, these are different. That's so cool. Say cheese. I saw a wheelchair on the ground floor. It's comfortable there, and we can put Charlotte somewhere warm. Oh, great. We're going to wheel her around in a wheelchair. Oh, look at this view. I mean, it may be a glitchy game, but it is very pretty. Right. Okay, Charlotte. Oh, no stirrups. Oh, don't get me started. Um. Right, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. I mean, there's a wheelchair here. What's wrong with this one? Huh? Excuse me? I could just walk down. Actually, let's just walk down. I don't want to take the stupid elevator. Do I have to take you? No. Can I walk down? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, wheelchair. Do Charlotte will be comfy here, but it's cold. No, no, it's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. It'll go away. Now we're going to wheel her around. Oh, God. Can we wheel her outside? It'd be nice and warm there. Here. No? Oh, piss off. Guess we gotta take her into the elevator. Yep. What did I leave? Oh, you're in my pissing way. No! Oh. 
wheel her outside and leave her there. <laughs> right? Oh, look at her. I think, yeah, I think she needs to be in that room that we were in. But why not just put her in the sunshine? That's way better. I don't like this. Oh, it corrected itself. All right, all right. Wow, you locked in one go. Well done. Don't get all spooky on me now, Charlotte. stuck. Why? Ugh. There's gonna be someone around, isn't it? Oh, no? Oh, well. Is it this room? No. Is it this room? I thought there was someone outside. Oh, that's locked. Where is the room that I want then? Where was it? It wasn't here. Did they lock the room? Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Charlotte? Don't be a little creeper. We I'm not listening. La 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 booby dooby doo la 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 There's nothing spooky in my ear holes. Booby dooby doo the cold has gone away now. You see? You freak the light the warmth. Oi. We can do it. The cold will go away. It has to. I don't want you so close. Now we can enter the ward where everything started. Started. Age to receive help. Help for what? It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Why is she so much louder in parts? Um, I'm gonna... Options. Where's the volume? Right, I'm gonna turn her down a little bit. I mean, I want to hear her, but she's so loud. I want to hear all the other stuff that's going on, but she is so loud and they haven't equalized the fucking volume on it, so... Right, the observation ward. But I kind of want to go down and collect all the things that I wasn't able to collect. Can I go here now? No. Alright. Alright, Charlotte, you stay there. I'll be right back. I'll be back, Charlotte. Why won't you close? Thank you. Is she angry because I'm leaving her behind? Are you angry because I left you? Look, shut up. I'm going downstairs real quick. You keep your spooky noise to yourself for a sec. 
Laters. Been in here. I don't know what it was then. Was it one of these side rooms? There's these photos. There's nothing in here. Huh. I want to go outside. I keep on being drawn towards that side, not remembering where, what was there, but... Oh yeah, and I can't open this, right? No. And your freaky face. And I can't go... Hello? What's glitching in the background there? I don't like that. No, 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 no. But we're going to the observation room first, where it all started. Hmm. Good, good, good. Let's go back to the noise. Oh, it stopped. I don't know whether I'm supposed to take Charlotte with me or not. Do I take you with me or do you stay here? Oh, on the ground floor. Oh. I had to go to the ground floor. Oh, shit. How did you glitch out above me? I thought it was up here because the noise was here. Maybe it was Charlotte freaking out. Is this the observation? Yeah, observation. There you go. Can I turn the lights on in there? Or is that these lights? Oh. Alright. Why'd you take my flashlight away? Oh, I can't turn around and my flashlight's gone. Let's do it! I'm waiting for a jump scare. Oh, there's no ground. Time to fall. Oh, okay. Is this Silent Hill? This is what we heard, this noise, right? Don't turn on too many lights to trip the breaker. What? Oh, I can look around now. Kind of. What? Boop boop boop. It is Silent Hill. Well, I'm glad I didn't take Charlotte down. It'd be a nightmare to push a wheelchair through here. Oh, light. One day I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. Hmm. It was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16 years old, and I was afraid, always afraid, a fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I couldn't speak. I was terrified of everything, even thinking. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. Hmm. I stopped living in there. Hmm. They dragged me away and stripped off all my clothes, everything. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed for days. I was alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. Yeah, I probably got abused too. That's what happened a lot. You what? Oh. 
Hello? I can't do anything. What? She was my only hope in this hell. Why does she have to smile like a I demon? Was descending down, down among the damned. But that woman and but. her smile kept me alive. But oh, you can't see her, probably. <laughs> All right. Well, she's scary. What? Oh. All right. Yeah, she she better not be there. She crawls from underneath the bed. I'm out. Right? That smile was so creepy. I know it was supposed to be reassuring, but it was not. Chapter 3. I wonder how many chapters there are. Right. I'm glad it stopped crashing, by the way. So, Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Irene. Unknown. Paternity unknown. Age 17. April 4th, 1980. 38. The patient Renee T is transferred from temporary asylum in the observation rooms to the quiet ward. Stamp. Okay. Just stamp her. <laughs> Can I read these? No? It's dark now. I don't like that it's dark outside. The door is locked from the outside. Oh, good. Here, the doors can only be locked and unlocked from the outside. Uh-huh. Alright. Well. Oh! -ho. Yes? Meep. It is- Oh, it's very dark now. Oh, it, 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 uh. Where's Charlotte? Charlotte! Charlotte, where are ya? Charlotte? Charlotte, you little slag. You can't get out of here. Only the dead can leave this place. Well, I guess that's how you got out, huh? It's the only place where the light is here. It's all locked. So I guess we're just kind of lost in our own heads at the moment. Outside of... Um, room 13. Wasn't that our room, though? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, good. At least the lights kind of work here. What? I'm just going to double check these. No, i got to go down that terrifying hole. Oh, Charlotte! Good! Oh, I'm so glad you're there. You look so comforting in this darkness. The eerie fucking lights outside. Oh, look at you. Good. Oh, shit. I'm surprised all of you have your hair. Usually they cut all their hair. You okay? Oh, I can walk through. Okay. Don't you jump scare me. I mean, this can't be good. Whoa, what's your problem? <laughs> One of them is going to get me. Who's gonna grab me? No one? Oh, you're naked! Should have gone to you first. Alright, well, later, Sky. Whoa, hi. Oh, you got Charlotte. Give me back. You fucking asshole. Charlotte, hey, friend. <laughs> what? What if I don't follow you? I'm gonna go back to my friends here. I'm gonna go to Nudie McNudison in the back. Look, I came back alright. I don't need my doll. There you! Nice butt!
But yeah, to be oh, there's another one, probably dead. They look dead. Anyway, they didn't care about women in these places or anybody in these places. Fine, I'll go after my doll. Don't flick the what? A little cheeky there. <laughs> I mean, people in these institutions were just seen as animals, uh, lesser beings. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. Hmm. Don't jump scare me. Don't jump scare me. I don't want an ice bath. Oh, that's what they did as well. Ice he baths. Laughed, panted and slobbered there all you over go. me. It hurt me when he touched me. I thought I'd suddenly split open with a loud crack. And I would be shattered into pieces. I felt fragile. Sick. Dirty. Degraded. All I could do was clutch Charlotte tightly while he... Renee obeyed. He was the master in the realm of light. Told you. I was being consumed by the evil act I had committed. I threw up and could feel hell getting closer and closer. Those tests the doctors did to me. They said there was something growing inside. Oh, she got pregnant. And they wanted to drag it out of me. Oh. That's terrible. So she got raped and then on top of that, she was pregnant? Oh good, it's light outside. No wonder she's still not recovering. But this happens so often, you know, in these places and still. Uh, but back in the day a lot more common either other patients would have you know uh, bad intentions or those who supposedly have should have the best interest at heart um, would have a go They call Frankenstein a monster, nothing to do, nothing to what they did to people in name of medicine. Yeah, I mean, like I said, they didn't see these people as people, they saw them as broken, lesser beings. Um, yeah, so many horrific things happened to them and still happen to them. I don't like these urinals, they're really weird. God, I did not like that. I knew it was coming, but I didn't think it was going to be that graphic. It's going to be a great big warning up on uh, on YouTube and some censoring. This way then, I guess. Oh, I can go out? <gasps> yeah, let me out. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, I can't go very far. Damn it! Oh, it's just a little nook. Oh, that'd be so nice to have as a garden, right? I want to go out there. There was like an opening to the outside here, right? Am I on that part of the building? Excuse me? Oh, this was the um, the room that we started off in, in that nightmare sequence. <sighs> that was not fun. Let's some light in. Very bloody cheats. Dear Mr. Director, the present letter is to recommend to your precious attention Mrs. Irene K. admitted in your institute last 12th April. Sure of your special attention to the unfortunate woman, our dear friend. I beg you to provide her her every need. The family will satisfy every expense. 
for any concerns please contact what is MSJR Atilio who will personally come to visit sincerely yours so I'm confused we are Rene right um, I thought Irene was her mom but now I'm not so sure And this is where we found Charlotte. She was sitting on this bench. Alright. Huh. Is everyone okay? I'm sorry. I didn't know this game was gonna be... That... Depressing. Uh, we just read that, okay. Alright, so we're here. Alright. Now we can go in all of these. These were all locked in our nightmare sequence. Why is there blood everywhere? Can't look at that. Hello? Ooh, lockers! Can I open these? I can! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Hush yourself! Oh! Two out of eight! I didn't see the glowy at first! Oh! Dear director, I have been working at this institution for five years now. I'm a simple person, I'm not educated, and I feel embarrassed about writing to you. I always try to look on the bright side, but sometimes we are called upon to do difficult things. That's our duty, and I well understand and accept it. There's no alternative. However, I have decided to write to you because something is happening which is simply unacceptable. I'm well aware that there's someone among us who devotes too much attention to the younger female patients who are confused. The serious nature of this fact has compelled me to write to you. I am certain of your indignation and of the measures you will adopt to solve the problem. Please accept my warmest regards and respect. So they were aware of it, but did they do anything about it? Obviously not in time for poor René, but... Right, so this is locked. There are a few locked actually, that one isn't locked. That one is and that one is. That one is... Alright. Alright. Nice. Ah, goodness. I don't know if we're going to be opening any of these, but it is interesting that some of them are locked. Tatiana Werten. Tatiana. Alright. <laughs> the fuck? I was nowhere near it. All right. Meep. It locked. Okay. Nice. Turn the lights on. According to art Article Twenty Four of the August Sixteenth, Nineteen O Nine, Six Hundred and Sixteen Regulation for the Implementation. Blah 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 blah. Uh, whatever. I'm sure it's something. Alright. Down we go. It's in this one. Oh. There's so many nooks and crannies as well where it can happen, you know. Storage. Why is everything covered in blood? Nothing. Okay. I'm good. It's certainly very sad and depressing. Yeah, I just want to check because um, I know it can be trauma triggering. It's weird when it's in a game. She stayed with Renee during those terrible medical examinations, and that gave her the strength to survive. Who stayed with Renee? What?
Anyway, I was gonna say, like, it's really strange because, um, it doesn't trigger me when I am in control of the situation. So, for example, I'm playing a game and I know it's coming, or I expect something like that will happen. Um, as long as it's not, like, a full, full on scene, um, it doesn't bother me, but if I'm watching something on TV, um, and it happens, I get very, very, very sick. I feel very sick. And I'll be, like, upset for days. I want to go out here! It looks so nice! Why are you back in this awful place? Open it! Oh, we're back here! Right? Oh! Didn't notice the scaffolding before. Oh yeah, this is the toilet. Alright, do we have to go back to our freaky doll? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, of course, because this is observation and we went through all of that. Okay. So where do you want to go? They went to the gynecology ward on the upper floor. Oh god. Don't want to go there. Why am I getting sad music for that? Why the one piano note for that? <laughs> ah, gynecologia. Blech. Okay. Give me another nightmare then. Oh no, no. No, no. God, it's bad enough now, okay? Just imagine back in the day. Oh my lord. Alright, give me flashback. No? No flashy? But it's whispering. August oh. 21st, 1938. Confidential. Dear A. I know what you think about these things, so I'm referring a patient to you, Renee T. This wretched girl got out of control and caused trouble in the grounds. She's almost three months pregnant. The nurses should be more alert. I'm examining the girl on the 28th. I'll handle things very carefully, don't worry. We don't want to make matters worse. I keep forgetting. Then they said that Renee was crazy and that the illness was all in her head. Careful, little girl. Careful. I was scared, and I didn't talk to anyone about the illness. Only her. Not even the other doctor. He never touched Renee. He just wrote things down. You can tell me everything. Don't be afraid, he said. Everything's going to be fine. Do you want to know what I'm writing? I note down what I observe in you, everything I see. He didn't hate Renee. He tried to help her, but he rarely examined her in those small surgeries. Right, I'll go to the synopsis in a bit. Uh, in a bit. Chapter 5. Um, yeah, I think she's associated as well, but I still want to know who Irene is. Irene K. Can I look at these? Oh, not a book. Yes. Oh no! Bits! Bits! Don't look! I was like, oh yes! Oh no! Guess I will have to... Uh, I would look longer, but I don't want to get banned. Anyway, enjoy that. I guess that's what I needed to look at, because it stopped screaming at me now. Okay. Um. Oh, I thought they turned into eyes then for a second. Ugh. Yeah, well, I have to censor all that for YouTube. Precious YouTube. Can't have anatomical things. What the hell? What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, I've been in everything here. Okay. The doctor who wrote things down was in Surgery C. Surgery C is down here. Goody. That's B. C. Hello. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> 
I want to look at you properly. Excuse me? Can you do that in your own time? Thank you. I hear the birds again! Oh, what is it, booze? Doesn't say. Is this more bits? No, it's a brain. And even a brain. Oh, pretty. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> How dare you show that stuff on family friendly tube of you. Yeah, which is quite funny because some of the uh, short horrors that I found were very explicit. So I was like, what? You let you let that be shown. Just oh, thank you. So I wanna look at. I wanna look in here. Is this money or letters? Can I get to it? Thank you. Huh? Nothing. Book. Brain. 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 Oh, it's got a nice mustache. It's very uh. Um, cavalier, very cavalier like. Oh, I hated these as a child. I used to kick the doctor back. Fucking hurts. Don't do that, man. Leave me alone. Some drugs. A phone. Why can't I pick everything up in here? <laughs> oh, I didn't see the glowing pages. March 12th, 1938. Renee T. 16 years old. Menstruation at age 12. Housewife. Father unknown. Mother a seamstress. Admitted an observation yesterday morning from Pontedera, accompanied by a police officer authorized by the examining magistrate of the Court of Pisa to be admitted for a psychiatric evaluation which I have carried out. Medical certificate. Mental illness preceded by warning signs. Has suffered from depression for a year, believing she had tuberculosis. Food deprivation. We can't read this document. It is forbidden. We mustn't. If they find out, there will be trouble. It talks about an A. It talks about you, so we have to read it. Uh, A? Oh, do I have to click it? Don't be scared. Nothing will happen to you. We have to look for Amara. We must hurry. We have to follow the memories and make sure they don't fade. Go on. She is frightened, hears noises and ghosts, presents serious signs of anxiety psychosis, suffers from hallucinations. She is anxious, confused, her expression is distressed, a questioning look as if terrified, disoriented. She feels confused, hears voices shouting in her head. She doesn't understand things properly. She has been feeling unwell for two or three months. When questioned, she replies, My mother wants to hurt me. I am always scared of her. She chases me. Huh. Why are you here? I argued with my mother and was so upset that I felt like my head was spinning. There was a woman there who wanted to force me into a life of prostitution. They wanted to condemn me to be burned at the stake. Children whispered, called my name. Oh. March 16th. She couldn't sleep last night. They wanted to condemn her to be burned at the stake. April 4th. Transferred to the calm ward, still under my supervision. Yes, that's true. The ward where Amara was. Yes, the stake. The children wanted to burn Renee. She had to pay for what she'd done, like witches at the stake. Um, what had you done to deserve to be punished? Oh. April 21st. She's more awake this morning and is responding to questions, complains of headaches. She became agitated when she found out her mother was there. She says that one day, many years earlier, she was with a friend of hers and met a man who made her get into a car and took her for a ride. Oh no. He made her smoke cigarettes and drink liquor. 
and the man showed her certain things. He tried to hurt her and made her go crazy. She says he promised to marry her and made her swear to keep what had happened a secret. These facts were essentially confirmed by her mother. After that, she became arrogant, impatient, and hostile towards her family, especially her mother. She started taking off her clothes in public. Her moods would swing from laughter to tears. She rants. She pleasures herself. I can't remember these things. Only the guilt, the stake. I know I deserve to pay for that guilt. I know it even then. Oh, let's look for the rest of the clinical diary to understand. Okay. She was uncooperative during the examination. She didn't want to be stripped and her body remained rigid. Voluntary attention almost totally absent. Probable hallucinations. April 25th. Confused ideas. Unable to maintain a spontaneous conversation. Reflex is all normal. Reactive pupils. Let's find Amara, and we'll find the full medical records. Go on. The first clues? Those were the first clues? This is so sad. It really is. It reminds me of one of my favorite films, uh, Girl Interrupted, which... Um, I can never watch without crying. It is so... So sad. What they did. Ah. June 1935. After much theorizing and practice in clinics for the privileged, the moment for action has finally arrived. Volterra is the right place. It's an avant-garde hospital. The perfect place for a doctor who really wants to make a difference. November 20th. Crossing the threshold of the asylum was similar to entering another dimension. A world of smells, noises, and images which it is almost impossible to imagine, describe, or explain. August 1936. The situation is similar to that in many other institutions. The department is overcrowded. Hundreds of patients are supervised by a handful of nurses who are forced to tie the more distressed ones to their beds or to radiators. They do 24-hour shifts. It's impossible to work like this. We doctors rarely see the female patients, and it's the nurses who tell us what's happening to the women. Mm. The overpowering stench in the wards the constant din of shouts and voices that are barely recognizable as human, dirty, naked bodies devoid of any dignity. The lunatic asylum gets under your skin and wears you down. I often consider resigning. I feel useless, impotent, a sort of merciful jailer, a mercy that helps no one and only helps to ease my conscience. March 15, 1938 Dramas are played out before my eyes every single day, and I try to distance myself from them, and just do the best I can. But a girl arrived some days ago. I couldn't avoid her gaze. All she asked in her dignified silence was not to be ripped away from her world. And me. I'm old enough to be her father, the father she never had, who didn't want her, who rejected her without even knowing her. I, too, refused what she asked me. I couldn't do anything but add my signature and consign her to hell. A danger to herself and to others, and a cause of public scandal. This was what was written on the accompanying note from the police headquarters. It was difficult not to agree with it. How much more violence must this poor girl be subjected to? Well, her gaze is so intense so far removed from the carefree nature which should be the joyous hallmark of her age. I cried myself to sleep in my solitude. I kept thinking about those sad and frightened eyes staring at me. And yet you signed her into a place that makes her even more traumatized. So good job.
a dot a dot oh Damiani Saverio Father Gino Mother Contesini Maria Oh Maria Contesini Contesini married Adele Fiandri was it Fiandri Adele I kindly request your illustrious excellency to kindly convey to this address any information regarding the insane Damiani Severo, son of the deceased Sirio and Contesini Maria, born in Monta Montaioni and residing there, age 53, admitted in this institute on 19. <sighs> Alright. But what has it got to do with us? Booze? No. Um. Oh wait. Yeah, B. Okay. Do not spit. Mm. 